brand new SEO season and first episode, 10 out of 10. Is that crazy? Was it a 10 out of 10 episode? It felt like a 10 out of 10. Well, that's probably crazy. That I, I'm, I'm glazing it now. But like, it was so good. It was an insane beginning where I had no idea what's going on. Why are we kids? Why are people cutting down this tree? What is the taboo index? These integrity nights, everything. Are we in SAO? Are we not? It's like, boom, brand new game. Company Wrath that was, you know, shown at the end of Ordinal Scale, which uses crazy AR VR technology to translate a human soul, which is this light that you see in an atomic cellular level in a brain cell. And by doing so, we're able to, you know, make dreams become like a reality. But then we also forget everything after we link start, which is kind of a problem. Pretty good for, you know, developers and making sure no one's going to leak the alpha or beta test. Now, first half was that, and the second half was like GGO. Well, uh, Aris, right? Aris, Alice in Wonderland. Aris is like maybe dead. We spent the, like the time, remember, spent in, in, in the game is like if you could spend five years in the game and it could have been only like two days in real life or something like that, right? So like we spent a lot of time outside right now. I hope Aris is still fine. Um... Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> yu gi -Oh has like some kind of crazy eye ability which makes me think like is he even a player or is he like an AI of the cardinal system just like Yui? His eye started you know saying system alert so that was kind of interesting. Um, and then there was like GGO stuff, Bob5, we saw the other Zaza, the third one, and then we also saw Johnny Black, right? Now, is Johnny Black the leader of Laughing Coffin? I don't remember that. Is Johnny Black, because he's the last surviving member, right? People were saying they already... No, right? Totally different. Okay, okay, okay. So we have Zaza, Johnny Black, and then we have that boss guy, the blonde guy that we saw in GGO. Who knows what that guy is? Maybe he's a true leader of Zapping Coffin. And then Johnny Black shows up at the end, gets us with the death gun. It's pretty funny how that medical injection thing, they're referring to it as a death gun. I thought that was the funniest shit. Anyways, we got injected. Uh, we're going to seemingly die, but Asuna's going to let that happen, right? Let's begin today's reaction. We're back in. Link start. What happened to Kirito? The Does he look older? It's a bit of a time skip, I think. So obviously a lot of time has passed in here. Also! Wait, 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 wait. You forget real life. Sorry, you forget memories? Like, like, you for like all the shit that happened in the first half of last episode, he forgot when he Link ended. But when he goes back in, does he regain those memories? If not, we don't know who Yu-Gi-Oh! -Oh is. Like, we regain it, right? I don't know? Yeah, and then we got death guns. Johnny Black. Yeah, we're back in the game. Nah, you gotta draw an S. So he completely forgot every- All wiped! What was the point? Nate, but oh, cause Yuji on Addis probably still remembers. They probably are still in the game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So only Kirito lost the memory? Huh. Interesting. Nah, you gotta draw an S, bro. <laughs> it's so real. And that's the exact example given in SAO Season 2 in the beginning when we're at that park talking with Asuna about, you know, lack of sensory information that makes it feel like if a bug lands on you, you can see it, but you don't feel it. But he feels it because that's how immersive this is. This is a game. It's a dream turned into reality. Yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I didn't know that either. Okay, okay, so real memories, IRL memories are also blocked, but she has IRL memories now, though. What does that mean? Why? It's because of how he got death gunned at the end, and somehow they're probably hooking up to like Medicupoid life support with rap technology. I don't know. Yeah. Those are the lab people, right? What? Well, he's not Link starting in that lab? Who knows? <laughs> Memories of Aris and Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, so he's regaining it. It's there. It's locked away, but it's kind of there. The demon tree. Jesus Christ. That's the same one we've been whacking at. For like 300 years from before other people, generations. Yu-Gi-Oh! He's still been chopping! Does he remember Kirito? He does, right? 
<gasps> You're back! Where did you go? <laughs> Everyone forgot. He forgot. Because he logged out. I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't know if he's a real player or just an NPC, but he doesn't have any memories of Kirito anymore, huh? It, exactly! It could be an NPC like Yui! どうしたの？キリト。うん。寄ってしまって。おっちって森の南？ざっくりあの町から来た。俺も自分がどこから来たかよくわからないんだ。え？もう？あ、ああ、覚えてない。気づいたら森で倒れてて。だけど見るのは
hanging out here just chopping the tree the entire time while Kirito logged out, you know? I don't know. Yes. Yeah, that's so cool. Game. Station window, not a status. Station. The bread? The durability? Umai? Never mind. Because we don't have Aris anymore to, you know, pack us the lunch. We gotta eat hard, stale ass bread now. Man, we thugging it out here huh? on the streets. I can't cook for shit. You remember her, right? What happened? She got dragged. <laughs> yeah. Receive my calling? I don't know what that means. Is it the calling to chop this tree? Because like that was like a mission, right? It's like the elders of the village somehow made Yuji who get it to chop a tree down for like every day. But all right. She dead, maybe. It's the memory is so selective. All the events of last episode happened. He remembers, but without Kirito. And then touchdown! That integrity night was so imposing. That she's still alive? Yeah, maybe. I mean, shit, what did the integrity knight said? He said, we're taking you, uh, and then we're gonna, like, put you in trial and execute you. There's been a lot of time that's passed here. Many years have passed. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see if the integrity knight kept his word. Yeah, memory's slowly coming back. There she is, that, remember? Oh, so he's also feeling a little bit of... Oh, Kirito, wait, it feels like he was kind of always there. Huh? We can't violate the taboo index as soon as we leave here. You don't touch the tree. Integrity not gonna show up and just drag us too. So, oh. so the calling. So, so Kirito has a calling yet? How many years ago was that? Now. Yeah. Yeah, chop, chop in this tree, baby. Oh. Why does a calling need to exist? It's like we're cursed forever to just do this NPC behavior until the end of time. <laughs> Good sound. That's the sound that you want to you hear. This is a demon tree, right? The title? <laughs> Woodcutter. Yeah? Seven years to chopping. Demon tree. What? Okay. That's sucks, bro. We out here. And the funniest part? You think that's all him? No. Three hundred years of people have been also added too. Like this is not just us, bro. Oh! Release me from this hell! This is insane! I love the pain. I love the suffering. I thrive. Is that, a, is that against the taboo index? Alright. Oh, he might have his, like, you know, past... Like, I don't know if muscle memory is the right word. There's that different sound when it hits right. He's gonna be loud! Ah! Oh, that's a bad sound. Bad sound. He didn't even hit it right. <laughs> the shitting on him. Yeah, big bro. Yo, teach me. Yo, we, we could have a... We could have a yaoi scene right now of Yuji just like getting right behind Kirito and be like, Here, this is how you position yourself. Mm, just, you know? 
生身の体じゃなくアバターだと思っていやソードスキルスマッシュおおっ You're still missing, bro. Pass it in a uchini. Moito go. He hit oof. Kaito. One thousand strikes today. Mosononio. Jesus. Mm. Bokuga, Chinichi, Nisenka, Giga Shidao, Tatak. Sorega Boku no tension. Strike the Giga Cedar two thousand times over the morning and afternoon. I thought the thousand was like a date, but it's like thousand in the morning and a thousand afternoon. Fuck this life, bro. You know what? I wouldn't even try. You know what I do? If I'm bound to this bullshit, and I know that in my lifetime it's not gonna pass, I'm just gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like one thousand real two quick ones. I I go out. What do you what? What do you want me to do, bitch? I hit the 2,000 rep today! I'm out! I'm gonna live my fucking life now, pussy! Attack. So that's my tension. 2,000 times. Today was a bit of a bit. Yeah, but... If you do it alone... It's not about that. It's not having fun with friends. Gone down by 50. The durability of this axe? No, the tree, the tree. 320,826 durability. Holy. 306 plus years happening. 232,000. What is going to chop this? What, what's going to cleave this tree? Like, Kirito is going to unlock some kind of superpower and just cleave it? I don't even know. Like, this is going to take forever, though. This tree never getting chopped down in our lifetime. Okay. Good that I don't have to do this shit anymore. Alright, you must always uh do your calling. Don't set foot in the dark territory. Oi, Yujo! Chink! A little bit. Uh, uh. Yo, can we just forget? Can Yujiro one day be like, uh, uh, I forgot my calling? Because the Taboo Knight's come for Kirito, right? And he used to have the calling, but now I guess it's been cleansed because he logged out. But I guess Yujiro can't just like pretend to be like, I forgot my calling, right? You can't do that. Zink is being an absolute asshole, but it is a futile job. It is really a futile job. He's not wrong, right? Like, he's being a dick about it, but like, damn, bro. We, it, our generation's not gonna, like, yeah, every, we're taking little steps forward, but it does seem futile, right? He lying! Kenshin? Wait, 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 can you lie? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure of the taboo index. You can't steal. Can you lie? Yeah? Yeah. Let's duel. Oh, don't fucking tell me that, like, if he has an axe, it's not a sword technique, so he can't chop the tree. But if he has a sword, he's just gonna cleave that tree immediately. Like, all the SO shit has followed since season 1 2. Now, like, he uses a sword instead of a fucking dragon axe, a tutorial sword, and then sword arts, and then shing! Ah, oh, shit, it's the soundtrack. Don't give him two swords now. <laughs> Clean sword arts. Light effect. Light effect. Now use it on the demon tree. Ah, na waza ga tsukaeru nante. Moshikashite, ooki na machi no e. Zink went from you trash, you have no calling, pussy. Now he's like, mommy. Mo ii daro. Kirito o mura ni ireru. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, bro? Nothing. Oh. This is slice of life theme in season one OST. Maybe it's a variant, but I remember the theme. They just go with it, yeah. I mean, yeah, but let's see, sister. Big booba sister, please. 
This is not a sister. This is a granny. That's a that's a lolly maybe. What was that? Yu-Gi-Oh's look to that girl behind was interesting. Huh? She looked away. Hmm. Why? All right, we're getting free rent in this church. Wonder what God is in this world. Yeah, who do you pray to? What is God in this world to these video game characters? Are they playable characters? Are they test players? Who knows? But like, I wonder what God is to them. Selka. No shit. Okay, so this is confirmed. They are not NPCs. Well, Kirito is saying it, but the show is... So I'm gonna assume with Kirito's assumption that there is no NPCs. These are all test players. Okay, I mean, if Kirito is saying it, I'm gonna take it as a confirmation. Then how can there be this many players, though, if they're not NPCs? Yui is an NPC. What is the meaning here? More than 300 have passed into this universe. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, future gen past generations. He's in full diving for six years, assuming that he's a test player. If that's true, then Yuji and the others. What is the implication here? That he's been diving for six years the entire time? But there's not enough STLs to have all these players. And they're not NPCs. Meaning, they are... Well, NPC is a non-playable character. Like, you cannot play that character. It is a, a being that has these scripted lines and stuff like that. Yui is a bit different though, don't you think? Yui is different because... She's an AI created by the cardinal system. And she's pseudo-sentient. I'm not sure. Are they all a bunch of Yui's? They're all, they can't be all play, they can't be all test players. Meaning what? She said you can turn the lamp off, right? Oh. <laughs> Copies of the souls of newborns who were then raised in this virtual world sounds fucked. You using STL technology on new people going to hospitals and getting new babies and just taking their soul? I feel like you should not be fucking around with newborn babies. Like what? What rat has that authorization to do that? That's crazy. Artificial flux lights. Artificial souls. How much time would have passed? Not much, I would assume. Sleepy, sleepy. We need to get to Aris if she's alive still. Who's that someone gonna be? Wait, is this Aris's jail? Blue hair. Blue hair. Not blonde, not Aris. This is not a prison. This is some Ojo sama looking ass right now. Whose bed is this? Blue hair. Uh, I can't tell. It doesn't look like Asuna from this angle. She's smiling. She's smiling. She's got some kind of like, not a tiara, but floating thing. I don't think this is Asuna. New character, I guess. Maybe she's gonna be the one that help us. And that is today's episode of SAO. Another episode of just questions and I have no answers. So we have no idea what happened after Johnny Black, you know, stabbed him with a death gun, but he just immediately link starts. My guess last episode was that Johnny Black doing that shit and almost killing Kirito is an excuse for Kirito to be hooked up to like Medicupoid plus Wrath Technologies to make him full dive permanently or some shit so we don't have to keep going back to real life I, I don't know that was my guess but right now we are in and there is no explanation for that he carries over the memories from the past life though before 
You can't. When he was a test player, IRL memories, gone. But this time it's different because the way that he link started is different. He even called out to the people that's responsible for the lab to hook him up and shit. But they were not, you know, calling back. Therefore, this is a different way that he entered this game. No clue. Yuji was still around and Yuji feels a bit nostalgic with Kirito. Doesn't remember him though. And the memories of the past, last episode stuff with, you know, Arisen getting the icicles. It's all there, but Kirito is just absent. Missing lost child of Vector. So this is a way for, you know, the players in this game to kind of just reason with why people just disappear with memories and just, you know, spawn out of nowhere. What the fuck is going on? We learned about the calling when, of course, the callings are just missions given out to these kids to, you know, do it forever. You can't steal. You can't abandon your calling. And also you can't go to the dark territory. We got lodging at the church now. And there's a question of, you know, who are they even praying to? What kind of god is it, right? Is the god, I don't know, the, the girl in the tower right here? I'm not sure she seems super important. Maybe she's going to help us you know, go to the central city to save Alice. Is Alice still alive? If the Integrity Knight, you know, kept his word, I doubt that she'd be alive for six years. But hey, this is very fascinating and I don't want the answers. This is good. I don't want the answer. Just keep making me confused. Keep making me go schizo. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other plays for more content. And until next time, take care.